Welcome. Apa kabar? Mr. Datu Ghazali. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You are in campus? Uh, well, I'm about to uh, attend a meeting at um, a focus group sessions at the ministry. So we are currently oh, okay. uh, inside the cafe next to the ministry to prepare the, um, the, the flow of the presentations later. Okay, okay. Good luck for the group discussion <laughs> with the ministry. Thank you. Oke, okay, uh, good morning, Mr. Dato Ghazali, uh, Mr. Andili, fellow students from University Malaysia Sabah and Universitas Negeri Jakarta. Thank you for joining with us and very appreciate that uh, you all can join uh, with us from listening, sharing, and discussion for this morning about human resource management. Uh, we can start now that Mr. Dato Ghazali and Mr. Andili for the sharing today. Okay. I will share screen for the material today. And this is the second time for we are collaborate again with Mr. Dato Ghazali. Thank you so much. And the first one, we collaborate in in teaching color uh, teaching collaboration, joint mobility. And the second one, we are collaborate in international community service. And now, in this morning, we are going to do some international collaboration and the topic about the importance of digital portfolio. And I will share screen. For the material, the moment. Okay. Okay, you guys already seen for the material. Okay, 
Kemarin tergel. Mister Datu Ghazali, you have already seen for uh, the material in your screen. Okay, I will start. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Good morning, Mister Datu Ghazali, Mister Andili, the lecturer of University of Malaysia Sabah, fellow student from University of Malaysia Sabah and Universitas Negeri Jakarta. And I appreciate that uh, today is not the service, and I will sharing a discussion about human resource management for the special topic about the importance of digital portfolio. Maybe uh, you have already heard, or maybe you have never heard about the uh, digital portfolio and I will share this morning and I will giving giving information about all students about the importance of digital portfolio and I hope uh, that material that I give to you all students uh, it's very useful for your career and for your business one day and I hope the best for your future of course uh, okay I'm a lecturer in Faculty of Economics, Universitas Negeri, uh, Universitas Negeri Jakarta, and this is the second one that I collaborate with um, Mr. Gato Ghazali. The first one that I have already told you before, and we we are uh, we have already some discussion about joint collaboration, uh, research collaboration. Uh, and join publication and today we are going to make some international service that, that I will uh, serving that I will giving some information for free for uh, all students for, from University Malaysia Sabah and Universitas Negeri Jakarta and I hope the material can uh, can very be useful for your career and your future Okay, uh, fellow students, before we start about the digital import, uh, the importance of digital portfolio, I will share some video so you can uh, you can see the video and get and grab some information from this video before we start for uh, for the discussion about the, the what is a digital portfolio, is it important? So what should have to do? What should we have to do? and what i'm going to be okay let some hear some video let's see a minute it's... what is a portfolio and why would you need one a portfolio is a collection of your work that represents you and showcases the full range of your creative style and talent Anyone can have a portfolio on the Creative Lab platform, including filmmakers, artists, writers, actors, singers, and any other talents and skills, such as makeup artists, cameramen, and even costume designers. A portfolio is important for various reasons. By creating your portfolio on the Creative Lab platform, your profile will have a chance to be seen by thousands of people. These are the average monthly visitors of the Creative Lab platform, Having a good portfolio helps you promote your skills and projects to the world. It helps you stand out and show all your work in the best way possible for people who are looking for your kind of skill. 2454 partners are always looking for freelancers and creative talents from Abu Dhabi. The platform will be a great source for them to look for the portfolios with the skills they need. It will complement your CV and showcase your creativity and helps you represent your skills better and in a compelling, visual and professional way. Your portfolio will appear in the platform homepage as well as the landing page of the portfolio section. This gives you awesome exposure. Portfolios are not just for graphic artists and directors. Even if you are a writer, you'll be able to create a visual representation of what you're capable of. You will be able to share your portfolio as a link for people to view 
and they can like your work so you can use it as a referral whenever you are applying for a job. You will be able to send direct messages to other community members on the Creative Lab platform. This will help you network better and collaborate with other creatives. Sometimes you know you will need some talents for a project but can't find any. On the new platform, you'll be able to search by talent and also people can search and look for you based on your talent. So make sure it is always updated. When creating a portfolio, make sure to gather and review all your work. Sort your projects in various groups that will make sense to your work. For example, either by type or in a chronological order. Have a digital format as well as printed versions of your work. Find a style for your portfolio that best showcases not only your work style, but your personality as an artist as well. Make sure you have all your contact details included in your portfolio, like your phone number, email, and social media handles. Also include any website or blogs that you have. Digital footprint. Be conscious on how you express and portray yourself on social media. Your social networking profiles are an extension of your personality that will always exist on the web. Okay, uh, thank you. Anyone want to be a volunteer? What's the point from uh, the video that I share to you guys? Okay, what is a digital portfolio? Yeah, digital portfolio, digital collection of information about who you are, the best work, achievement, experience, training, and skills you have. The video, the previous video that I displayed to you, uh, displays some information, displays some important information that you have gathered some, uh, gather some information from uh, your achievement your experience, your scholarship, your education, your relation, so that this is a very important for you to apply, uh, for example, to apply uh, some jobs in multinational company or international company, or make uh, some um, second from your college, uh, get some important appointment from some business, clients, and so many. So what we heard from uh, the, the previous video, that digital portfolio, you can get some CV for, uh, in digital way. You, get, uh, you can make story in social media, maybe from LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, or you get, you, you make some quick on Vite with using Canva, for example. So this is very important uh, for you for applying job in the future. Maybe after you uh, you pass from the university, you pass from the bachelor, or maybe uh, now you are doing uh, some you, and now you are a students and you can also apply for a job. So digital portfolio, you can make a very interesting digital portfolio. So you can use a digital portfolio for applying job. This is very important for you. And what is the function of digital portfolio? Yeah, as a documentation of the various jobs that you have been done, or maybe you have got some jobs uh, in the backwards before you uh, join for the university or you before you uh, become a student from Universitas Negeri Jakarta or University Malaysia Sabah. So you can put jobs that you have been done in curriculum vitae or make some short story, short, a short movie in, in social media. It's okay. It's no problem because now some uh, multinational company or international company put a social media text when you are willing to join with with them. 
So they can track you. They can see your story, what your post, what is your text in your social media. So they can uh, they can analyze your character. They can analyze your value. Uh, what is you have been done? What is your education? How about your relationship? What you have been done before? So this is very important. What you have post, be careful what you post. Be careful what you have uh, text in your social media. Don't become a toxic, a uh, toxic man. So this is very important. Uh, they can analyze you. They can see you in your social media. They can analyze in your community. So this is a uh, digital portfolio, digital tracking. Ne never been a waste what you are post. So uh, the second function for the importance of digital portfolio, we can see as the reference for achievement or work that has been done by someone. So what you have achieved, maybe you get some scholarship for your education, or maybe you you have uh you got you got job that you have been done before you are students, or maybe you uh you are st uh, students now and you are applying job, so you get some certificate or you got uh, uh some awards achievement in your career in your job. Please put your in CV. Please put your on social media so the world knows what your achievement, the world knows what your award that you have got from uh, from university, from schools, from uh, office, from organization. So this is important what you have uh, the achievement or the certificate, the award you have got from many other sources. So the world knows about your achievement. Yeah. And the third one, as a source information on work experience with the best result or the best achievement that have been achieved. So this is uh, for the organization inside, for the company sites. This is important for them that we are, hire, we are hiring people who have got some more achievement. We are hiring people that that got so many awards they got some talents they get a best talent for uh for uh the success successor for the leader of the organization so this is important not only for your you all of the fellow students but also in organization so what we have to do so in the end of the slide, I will give uh, God, uh I will provide some information that you all students have to do before you pass the university. So grab some achievement, grab some awards, so get some um achievement awards or maybe scholarship uh, relations. So many. Uh, inter interrelation not only in maybe in Malaysia or Indonesia but also in Europe, in Asian, African, and so many other so many other countries. And what is benefit when you make uh, some digital portfolio? Maybe in ten years ago, twenty years ago, we make uh, some curriculum vitae manual, but uh, nowadays you can write or make some digital portfolio in a digital way yeah you can make some platform you can make some uh, in social media so this is very important
Okay. Uh, I will continue. So the benefit of you make uh, some digital portfolio, not only when you apply for the jobs, yeah, when you pass uh, a bachelor degree from the university, but also can be very useful for the entrepreneur when you want to make a decision to become entrepreneur. So portfolio very important to increase the chance of getting many clients. So the client trusts you. The client wants to or wants to become a partner to make your business a great, to make your business a great again. Maybe uh, not only clients, I think. The, the consumer, the supplier, the organization can trust you. When you make a good portfolio, so can they can analyze you, they can see you, oh, this is your uh, this is your business, or oh, this is your product that, that you sell in, in market, or oh, this is your uh, uh, not only product, maybe in service that you provide with uh, other, con uh, other consumers, or oh, your product sells not only in Malaysia or not only in Indonesia, but also in Europe, or or but also in Australian, African, American, and so many other countries. So the portfolio is a proof that you want to apply a job, the proof that you want to get some more clients so they can analyze you, they can trust you, and they get some uh, proof that, okay, we will start a business for you. Okay, we will start uh, the job for you. And the benefits become a differentiator with the competitor. So, so many competitors, uh, so many competitors provide a portfolio. But when you get, when you make some uh, interesting digital portfolio, I assure you that maybe probability eighty percent they can trust you. But you have to some. Uh, you have to uh, display about credibility, integrators, integrity. What you have been done, what achievement, or work, display in your, on your social media, so they can they can trust you. So besides the benefits, uh, I will display to you about your curriculum vitae. Yeah, maybe uh, the previous statement. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, we make a curriculum vitae, uh, very manual. We uh, very manual. We read the paper. We read on on the letter. So we send to company or we send to clients. But uh, nowadays, you can you can make in a digital. You can make in internet. So let me some show you at the minute. Okay. Okay, this is Canva. Maybe you have uh, you have already heard about it and you have uh, doing on your on your work. Yeah, maybe some tasks that you have been done on the university. You can use Canva to make to make uh, some interesting curriculum vitae. So so I, I, I try to display you this uh, my CV that I've been uh, done using Canva. So I think using uh, Canva make my task uh, very, very useful, very easy, easy to way. So this is uh, the sample of curriculum vitae. So fellow students can be there in, in using Canva, not only from uh, Microsoft Word, so using Canva can, can, can easy. Yeah. You can, you can use very easy, I think. Okay. So this is a quick video. So what about uh, website? So I made some uh, sites for my portfolio. You can, Maybe you can uh, make in Google Google Sites. So Google Sites is free. 
and you can use it you can adapt it so i will show you when you have to make a google site so please find a google sites and then you can make some new sites yeah make some new sites and you can grab the theme So this is you can you can fill in both portfolio of so this is uh you can make some website uh for free so this is important when you when you display about your uh on your website you can you can use a uh, google sites so okay and then you can if you have already youtube yeah you can search you can fill uh the youtube that uh, the channel youtube that you have already made it okay besides youtube social media link yeah you can fill in your social media link facebook instagram linkedin you can fill in and put in google sites okay a uh, map yeah or beta you can add maybe on your organization the address of your company the address your university so the clients or the company can see what's your address the truly address uh i think for the entrepreneur this is very important the clients want to see or oh, this is real your address they don't want to be cheated yeah okay beside you can make calendar maps documents youtube so i can show you what i have done about my google sites this is my digital portfolio i I put my name, profile of Christian Wedding and you all are. Uh, some achievements, some awards that I've got. Book article. Yeah. I joined collaborate with Mr. Dato Ghazali. Yeah. What I've got, the books, the journal article, the YouTube, the map, and this is my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So when you have, when you share, you can you can you can share the link to share to your clients or the organization. When organization ask you, uh, let me let me uh, uh, give me your portfolio sites. You can you can publish that and. Get some links. This is okay. You can copy these links and you can share with your college, your clients, your uh, maybe your supervisor in in your company, in your uh organization and you can share this site using google site i think it's a very easy to you make a digital portfolio this is you can share the link and you can share via whatsapp facebook instagram social media okay yeah portfolio of christian Verendi. you can your photo your awards maybe employee of the month employee of the year your scholarship your awards you got a winner you become a winner when you uh when you get championship yeah or maybe you get some achievement from government get some achievement from the schools university or maybe in some organization so you put 
in 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 these sites yeah so the important the other important you can put your youtube your map and your social media in in google sites okay let me continue okay we talk about good coffee day of where did that and digital portfolio we are using uh google sites so google Sites and canva you can use use it to uh, make some good i think make some good curriculum vitae i think make some good uh portfolio in in sites in website so you can use google set and canva or maybe if you easy if you easy make some uh, application another application no problem okay you can you can make some blog beside your website this is uh this is the blog blog spot you can use blog spot yeah to display your career to display your achievement to display your awards championship and so many other activities you have been done maybe some history of your uh, of your job that you have been done uh your relation your about your activity so the clients the organization the company can see and can analyze you that you are the best talent that i will hire you so when you make some good curriculum vitae you make some good digital portfolio you make some good blog and i hope uh, the probability index that you get some many clients if you become if you are become entrepreneur of if you become a worker will increase your probability to get some jobs will increase the probability to get so many clients okay what about social media besides we make some cv we make a uh, website individual website we make some blog uh the other thing social media so the social media you can use maybe in facebook tiktok instagram so my suggestion for the fellow students in University Malaysia Sabah or Universitas Negeri Jakarta. Be careful what you are post. Be careful the text you are post. Um, what you are display. What so they can analyze you. They can see you. And I don't want you are failed to get some many clients. You are failed to get some the chance you get the multinational company or international company. Maybe Google, Yahoo, Tesla um coca-cola and so many many big companies uh i don't want to i don't want you to fail because what you are post what you are text on your social media so be careful because uh many companies now want to you to feel your link social media your social media link so in uh organization or company can also use linkedin to hire job get some get some offering you a jobs do you want to do you talk do you want to uh join with with our organization to become maybe marketing manager or human resource manager or become a supervisor may accountant yeah manager of uh, finance and so many other position organization always or uh, often use linkedin to offering some jobs to to students so you have to make sure that your linkedin uh you feel in very well you feel in very clearly you make some photo you feel 
uh, your stories, you feel your education background, you feel your awards, you feel your career, your achievement, your championship. So they can see you, they can analyze you, and they can assure you that organization sure that they will accept you to fill the jobs in the company. So make sure your LinkedIn is fulfilled. Okay, besides LinkedIn, you can use YouTube. And in YouTube, you can post your activity, you can post your career, achievement, award, your activity to get some uh, clients, maybe on your YouTube now. Uh, you you feel with uh, jokes, some jokes, but you have to think about the future. Uh, when you get uh, get some business, when you get some uh, for applying jobs, so my suggestion, feel in in positive way. Yeah, this is important. So beside YouTube, you can you can use Facebook, yeah, and Instagram. So. LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. You can post. Be careful what you post. Be careful what you text, because once again, a uh, company or clients they can see you. They can analyze you. Uh, I don't want you to fail because what you post and what you text on your social media. So once again, on your LinkedIn, please fulfill very clear, very full what you have. Uh, what you have been done, what's your career, what's your education background, what's your activity, what's your words, so you can fill in very full and very clear in LinkedIn. Uh, so many organizations over me about uh, some position until now because what I put in uh, in my LinkedIn. So this is uh, I think LinkedIn one of uh, digital portfolio when you when you use a LinkedIn. So, so many organizations can see you, can look at you with your with your detail, with your uh, what you about what you feel in your LinkedIn. So, besides social media, uh, you can apply on your job site when you have been done about digital portfolio or, or LinkedIn. Or maybe curriculum vitae, curriculum vitae, digital portfolio, LinkedIn, and I suggest you when you apply a job, you can use a job sheet. I'm not brand ambassador of job sheet, but this is one of the best I think uh, for applying a job. So increase your career, increase your achievement, focus on your education, push your education, and I hope the best when you apply for the job and I have the best way uh, you get you hired by multinational company or international company that your that your career become a very bigger than before and when you make a decision not become a employer or worker you can become entrepreneur so once again when I talk uh, digital portfolio will increase you get some so many clients so many projects from other organization from uh, maybe from a government from university from the organization companies uh, governments and when i say that the importance of digital portfolio for this yeah you display your career, you display what you have been done, you display your address of your company, you display your awards, you, dis you display about your um, achievement, championship, so they can, I hope they can trust you, I hope they can uh, sure that you are a best partner for, for the project. So when you become, you make a decision to become an entrepreneur, so please, make it a better digital portfolio. So uh, the probability index that you that you will get uh, so many clients and so many projects, it's very open. Headhunter, yeah. 
headhunter do you ever listen about headhunter headhunter is uh the consultant yeah the third party that hire uh that hire people for the great position top level management position maybe for a ceo general manager senior manager so this is a headhunter task headhunter will seek you on linkedin yeah i told you before linkedin please fill out the uh linkedin link your your linkedin your, your academic your education your job that you have been done your work your uh your history so please put your link in very full very, very clearly so when you get some uh better better position your career is okay your career is agreed uh Hetanta will seek will seek you to join with may, maybe a competitor that you are in in your company now for example i'm on coca-cola company for example and headhunter offering me for some position in danon for example or some position in unilever for example or Procter and gamble the competitor of coca-cola uh, i give you i give you some example so headhunter will provide you uh, some benefits some compensation and they will attract you to join with with the competitor or to join the other companies for for the best position for the top level management uh, maybe in ceo general manager senior manager so the, this is a uh, head on Okay, uh, the previous one is headhunter that I talk about. Uh, that, that I talked before headhunter. Uh, the the headhunter task is to recruit some people for the job, uh, for the job position, like to, to make some uh, digital portfolio on your website social media or maybe linkedin to display your career to display your 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 achievement your awards your championship yeah education very clear this that will be increase your probability higher by headhunter so headhunter is one of my favorite um partner because i get some offer from headhunter to fill in some position in 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 many organization like a manager senior manager or junior manager so be happy if if headhunter offer you so what we can we do now improve your competence yeah improve your competence be proactive uh pass your bachelor get some more certificate improve your soft skill follow the organization can increase your soft skill uh your breath talk or speaks in 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 front of the class yeah 
expand your network, build your network, your friends, college, not only in, uh, I think, not only in local, maybe in Malaysia or Indonesia, but also uh, international. Yeah, international, Europe, American, African, Australian, you can expand your network. So when you become an entrepreneur, you can get some uh, clients, get some projects, not only in local, but also in international. Yeah, you can get some uh, project in companies, multinational company, international companies, government, your government, or many, or other government. So can expand your network when you when you put your history, yeah, your history in LinkedIn, digit in portfolio, digital portfolio, you fill in your CV, curriculum vitae, so improve your competence, improve your soft skill, take every opportunity, yeah, take every opportunity. When you get some opportunity, take every opportunity. Because when you lose your opportunity, they don't want to search you again. So take every opportunity. How difficult your opportunity? Uh, try, try hard. Try hard, finish it. They will seek you. They will analyze you. So don't lose your opportunity when you got some opportunity, maybe in, uh, in some project, some clients, um, uh, offer from multinational company or international company, don't waste your time, take your opportunity. And then you, you have to grab scholarship, competition, internship, organization. You can expand your network. You can get some, uh, some opportunity when you, you get scholarship. When you're winning a competition, you can feel your history in your portfolio. You can feel on your CV. You can feel on your LinkedIn. So they can trust you. The probability they can trust you is high. Probability they they uh, is very high. So try the best when you become a student. Do it and fill in on your portfolio. When you got some achievement, when you got some winner uh, competition, become a winner competition. When you follow the organization, but you are not feel on your portfolio maybe you can you you are not display on your linkedin or social media or your uh, sites for example google sites on your cv Okay, I'm so sorry because of my signal. So I changed my 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 source, my my internet. So once again, it's a very important 
to it's very important to you to fill a uh, portfolio your career your history in portfolio on your linkedin on your social media on your sites yeah your website for example google sites that you can use for attract a client for get some more job for get some more project so it is uh, uh it is very important so how can we see you if you don't feel your curriculum vitae, if you don't feel your LinkedIn, if you don't feel your social media or curriculum vitae, how can we see you? Because I don't know you. So besides you get some more scholarship, besides you are from, I think, good education, uh, much certificate that you get, uh, become a winner for the championship, get some more awards, get some more achievement but you didn't feel on your portfolio how can we analyze you because i don't know you so this is very important to make some digital portfolio for your career or maybe for uh, for your career in your company if you make decision to become an employer or worker or make get some uh, more client or more project if you want to make decision to become an uh, entrepreneur. So what should we do now? Improve your competence, pass your bachelor, pass your education, yeah? get some more certificate, get some your skills, improve your soft skill. You can join organization. You can increase your soft skill by uh, maybe get some certificate from a uh, course, take some course, short course from for example, public relation or communication skill. And then the third one, expand your network, not only from uh, from local, maybe from Malaysia, only from Malaysia or Indonesia only, but also uh, in international way, European, American, African, Australian, take every opportunity. Don't lose your opportunity, take every opportunity. Uh, how difficult the opportunity, please do please do properly so they can uh, they can see you they can analyze you that you are hard worker that you give the best for the project even the uh, that you have been done is not excellent but you have been you you have been done uh, very proper and you have been done with your best and finally uh take some uh, or grab some scholarship, competition, internship, organization that you have been ready to get some more projects. Yeah, This is uh, important for your history, for your portfolio, for your career, so they can see you, they can analyze you, and don't forget to put in or fill in uh, in portfolio or on your LinkedIn, on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, your website, may, you can use uh, Google Sites. Um, don't forget to fill in. So once again, I hope the best for the for your career. I hope the best for your uh, for your success when you become when you make a decision to become an entrepreneur. And I hope you get some more projects, some more clients. Uh, yeah. Once again, how can we? analyze you how, how can we see you if you don't put your history your education history your achievement history your career history if you don't put in your cv how can we see you so this is important when you make a, when you make a portfolio uh, when you make a portfolio so they can see you they can analyze you and they hope they can be a partner with you okay Thank you for, for, for the session and I hope uh, for today international community service they can they can that I can serve you they can that I inform you is the best way to for your career and I hope, hope the best for your career if you want to apply for a job please uh, make some good portfolio you can use Canva you can use Google site. Please be careful 
what you post on your social media, what you post on on your or Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and publish your portfolio so they can see you. Yeah. Okay, this is all of my presentation. Thank you so much. And I open a question if you want to share. Yeah, if you want to sharing, if you want to ask about question about the importance of digital portfolio, I'm very pleased. Uh, and I will answer from your question. Okay. Anyone? Fellow students from EMS or WNJ? Oh, before I forgot, uh, fellow students or lecturer, Mr. Ghazali, Mr. Andili, please uh, fill uh, the present uh, present presence of uh, where this webinar to our documentation to my university. Okay, I will stop share. I will send this the material at the minutes. I will send the material in chat zoom. It's Okay, uh, the material that that I talk about you for for this webinar, I've already sent on on chat Zoom, and I hope uh, the material for me can can help you can can help you for 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 make a digital portfolio, good digital portfolio. So okay, you can use for apply for a job or you can use for get some more clients or get some project for many other resources organization or companies or government so you can use it very well okay uh anyone want to ask the question okay uh before we are close for the webinar, I'm very thankful for Mr. Datu Razali, Mr. Andili, and fellow student from uh, University Malaysia Sabah and Universitas Negeri Jakarta to hear some uh, material uh, about digital, the importance of digital portfolio, the material that I've already sent on the chat Zoom. And before we are close, Please uh, fill monitoring and evaluation that uh, for this webinar, and I hope uh, this webinar will provide you uh, some insights because it's very important to make some good digital portfolio to to attract to attract uh, organization, to attract companies, to attract clients, so that they can uh, they can trust you. Okay. Uh, Terima kasih banyak, terima kasih banyak banyak, dan thank you so much for for my college in University Malaysia Sabah, Mr. Datuk Razali, Mr. Andili, for here some material from me, and thank you so much, fellow students on in University Malaysia Sabah. This is the second one that I that I I, I teach. I get some uh, I deliver some information about human resource management, especially for digital portfolio thank you so much 
And thank you so much for the student from Universitas Negeri Jakarta. And I close for the presentation for the webinar today. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much, Mr. Dr. Rajali, Mr. Andiri, and fellow students. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you.